What's going on guys? Iron Flash and I am back. I am here. I am grateful. We have an unboxing video today for you. <clears throat> I had purchased something off of WWE Shop dot com cheap plug i know i do not uh have endorsements with them so i'm just saying this is where i ordered it from ignore the hot mess i got going on i got some polynesian sauce right here um i've been gone for a while just due to the pure fact that stuff that was happening with youtube but here's the package i think it's gonna be this big so i'm excited to open it and let y'all see what I ordered, let's cut up this box without cutting myself. <laughs> but yeah, guys, I have been gone for a while just due to the fact that I had issues with YouTube and other shenanigans, but it's all right. I'm back now. Oh, damn. This is a big frame. I think it's gonna be this big, but I'm, I'm, I already love it. Look at all this bubble wrap. It's highly secure. Ah, <laughs> oh, this is awesome. Let me see. I think it might fit right there, or behind me right there. I'm gonna have to move those superstars. So. Ah, brother. <laughs> Damn, they secured the hell out of this. Which I'm okay with. I'm not complaining because, you know, it could have gotten here broken or something. I absolutely love it, y'all. So, back in January 28th, 2023, we had the Royal Rumble in San Antonio, Texas, right? I'm from Houston, so I traveled those three hours to go watch the, the Royal Rumble with my brother. We're both big wrestling fans. And just last week, was it last week or was it the week before? I don't quite remember, but I know it was on a Thursday. We received the horrible news that Wyndham Rotunda, aka Bray Wyatt, passed away, right? It's still crazy to me that it's only been this small amount of time that this has happened, and I truly am heartbroken by the fact that it happened right so when i found out that all the proceeds for any bray wyatt merchandise from off of wwe shop were going to go straight to his family i decided to make a purchase and what better purchase than this frame framing bray wyatt I'm trying to do this as best I can without getting emotional. Framing Bray Wyatt <clears throat> at his last event, which I got to see. I got to watch him live in this insane <laughs> match with LA Knight. And from there on, LA Knight has become the superstar that he has dreamt of being due to the help of this man. I had to make a video of this unboxing so you guys could see it. And so I so you guys can see my expression and so I can express myself to y'all. It's a very difficult thing to do because I was a huge fan of the man. Not just for his portrayal of these crazy um characters that he had 
but also because he was a great human being, a kind person, and a very smart person as well. It's just so many positive things that you can say about Bray Wyatt that, that people haven't said already. If I would have gotten a chance to know this man at a personal level, more so than I do a few superstars already, I think this would have hit me even harder than it has now. Um, it hit me really hard when I got the news because actually it hit me as hard as the Eddie Guerrero passing away. Um, his passing away announcement that they had. Remember, before we didn't have social media, we didn't have um, uh, we had the internet, but we didn't have like dirt sheets like we do now. It was kind of hard to come around. Or even Twitter. Um, Eddie Guerrero's death was broadcasted on TV on the news and it completely broke me. It happened in 2005. I was about what I don't even know how old I was I was a young little lad though I'll tell you that much but I am truly blessed and grateful that I got the chance to see Eddie Guerrero live and now I am truly blessed and grateful that I got got to see actually the crazy thing is I got to see Eddie Guerrero at his last pay-per-view of No Mercy 2005 and the crazier part is I got to see this man at his last event this year. Let me read you what his plaque says. I'm going to cherish this, by the way, for, for the rest of my life. <sighs> the plaque says, Bray Wyatt defeated L.A. Knight. Yeah. In the Mountain Dew Pitch Black match, which is trademarked. <laughs> January 28th, 2023 in San Antonio, Texas. For the first time ever, the WWE Universe witnessed Bray Wyatt and LA Knight take the rivalry to the next level in the Mountain Dew Pitch Black match. With the lights off and a spooky glow-in-the-dark atmosphere, the Eater of Worlds returned to in-ring competition and took advantage of the setting to inflict damage on the megastar. Yeah. Withstanding a crash through the announce table, Wyatt recovered and answered back with a kendo stick. Well, actually, with a kendo stick attack before landing Sister Abigail, which meant lights out for L.A. Knight. I will have a spot for this soon um, <laughs> it's hard man it's really hard <laughs> but I'll have a spot for this soon on my wall it's gonna be next to anything that's WWE related uh, I have two sides of WWE and I think I know where exactly I'm going to put them. <sighs> With that being said, y'all. Let me see how I can hold it for y'all. Hit the like button, subscribe. Don't forget to ding that bell. Iron Flash is out of here. <laughs> Bray Wyatt, thank you for all your memories that you have given us, for all your talent and everything that you could produce and to give to us, the fans. Thank you. We love you. We miss you. Rest in peace.